Hi guys, it's Chris at Arena Studio. Got for you today a little quick tutorial on how I would compress acoustic guitar. Um, if you want further information about what we do, we are a professional recording studio. Um, you can find out more details at www.arenastudio.co.uk. Um, you can also follow the record label on Twitter, which is Cragstar UK or the web address for that is www.cragstar.com and the studio of course is on Twitter as well which is Arena Studio UK right so that's all the boring bits out of the way let's try and uh, get this going a little bit for you and you'll see that we're actually working in Pro Tools today the song that I'm working on is the follow-up single to Lydia O'Dowd it's um, a very simple stripped back acoustic song called Runaway Mess which is basically just a stereo recording of, a, of an acoustic guitar and Lydia's vocal uh, really simple just how we like it um, it's, it's really easy to do then because what we've got is a nice simple setup like I say and I'll just give you a little bit of the acoustic guitar first so as you can see just a nice chugging little thing okay nothing flash just nicely done okay now we've obviously as you can see what we've got on here we just put the standard Pro Tools compressor on uh, we've no EQ, we've no done nothing at all to this audio file. This is just the raw audio, just purely for this tutorial. So I will check in at a later date and have a listen to the finished product at some point. I will put the links on here as, as I get through things, but we're mad, mad busy at the moment. I'm just trying to squeeze as many tutorials in for everybody that keeps asking me uh, in a short of space of time. So anyway, let's just sort of get things going. As you can see, we've already got the compressor up there. It's probably one of the best, I think, that's uh, that's in the, um, the Pro Tools game at the moment. And I love it, and it's just really simple. It's dead easy to do. First thing I'm gonna do is go back to the factory default settings. So there we go. Then I'm gonna take off the threshold. As you can see, we've got an attack of 10 milliseconds and a release of 80 milliseconds. I'm not even gonna touch those at all. I'm not gonna touch the, the makeup gain or the uh, soft knee or anything we're going to leave the ratio exactly where it is at three to one and then i'm just going to hit play and we'll see what happens so as you can see we've got a few sort of peaks and troughs going on there and that's the bit that we're aiming to to tame a little bit we're going to try and control those and give this acoustic guitar a more of a solid rounded sort of even tone really with it I'm going to control the dynamics a little tiny bit okay so the best way for me to do this is to just flick the compressor on and as you can see the threshold is totally out of the way I'm going to put the track on again for you and then I'm going to dial in some compression and I'm going to aim for sort of 3 to 6 dB of, of cut on this for you a little bit of gain compression um, and then we'll see what a difference it makes when I AB it here we go so I'm going to dial some in now, as you can see, the threshold's coming in. We're looking at this meter here, and we're going to try and get things peaking around about here. So I'm quite happy where we are there now. If you look at the two inputs and output meters, you can see there's a difference now in the height of them. If I dial the threshold right down, there's a bigger discrepancy. Too much, too much gain reduction. So if I go back to where we were, and then I'm going to get onto the makeup game and just bring this up a little tiny bit so that those levels are about even. Then I'll AB things for you. Hear the difference? So it's not dramatic, it's just there doing its job. It's just taming everything down a little tiny bit and keeping everything under control, which helps it to sit better in the, in the mix. Probably, like I say, the best expression for this from me is it's just a more rounded sound, really. Um, so the compressor's actually adding to it and not sort of enhancing too much, really. You don't want to be boosting the gain, uh, makeup gain on it, so you get variations in volume like this as well. So when you bypass, if this is happening, your ears are going to play a trick on you.
you're not going to pick up what's actually going on with the compressor. You need to sort of make sure there's no variation in volume when, you, when you're A and B in something like this. That's better. So as you can see, it's a really quick way, just dial the threshold in. Uh, I think this type of compression works pretty standard on most um, compressors out there. If you're struggling to set it up, then just get it something like this and just bring the threshold down and dial it in until you get a little bit. 3 to 1, 4 to 1, you're not going to be far off. Then you can sort of start to, when your ears get used to working with that, that's when you can start to play with the attack and the release on the compressors and you can sort of colour things a little bit more with that. I'll look at that at a later tutorial. Um, once again, guys, thanks for checking in. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube page like everybody else sort of gets into nowadays, then please feel free and you can drop me a message anytime and I'll try and get back to you with any, any answers that you need as soon as possible. We are mad busy at the moment, so that's why it's a little bit garbled, this tutorial, and I'm trying to squeeze it in before the bell rings and somebody else comes in for the next session in about 20 minutes' time. Okay, so uh, any more tutorials, I'll get on there as quick as possible and I'll catch you soon. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.